I'm Sean Kroll. I'm the Deputy Principal Investigator uh, for GeoCarb. GeoCarb is what's called a spectrometer, which means that it looks uh, at uh, reflected sunlight off the surface of the Earth. It breaks that sunlight into all of its component wavelengths, and it uses uh, the light at all those different wavelengths to infer how much of, say, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, methane, water vapor, oxygen are in the atmosphere. What we're measuring are the concentration of these greenhouse gases. But that's not what we're really interested in. What we really want to know is where did they come from and where are they going? And we want to know that on daily time scales. Every single day, we'd like to understand where CO2 and methane are coming from, what is uh, their fate. And this is something that's never been done before. And it's really essential because we know there's a connection between weather conditions on the large scale and these concentrations in the atmosphere. OU is responsible for the science, uh, but we have partners at Colorado State University who are helping with algorithm development and data processing. Uh, we have partners all around the world that are doing research with data like what GeoCarb is going to bring in. Um, so you've got government labs in France, universities in Australia, uh, Canada, UK, Mexico, um, South America, and of course NASA sort of manages it from uh, you know, the top level in terms of cost and schedule and making sure everything is going according to plan. Um, but right, we are, we're collaborating with a huge group of people from all over the world. This is a very, very important mission, uh, but it's only important if we get it on orbit. And this is something that the planet needs to know about. This is not something that we're gonna just do once and never again. We're going to have a greenhouse gas observing system for the planet in both orbits uh, forever.